Hello everyone and welcome back to Healthy Cooking with Shada. I'm your host and this is where I teach you how to make healthy plant-based meals that are salt, oil, and sugar-free. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please go ahead and do so at the moment right now. And make sure that you hit the like button and that you comment on our videos on YouTube. I really enjoy getting your feedback and the questions that you're asking are great. So let's keep that going. Make sure to get you comment. Today we are going to make a really simple, healthy, delicious treat. It really is a treat. Um, I don't want you guys eating this constantly because it's gonna deter us from our weight loss, but you know, every now and then, and it's, it's okay to have a little treat. Um, so today we're making a three ingredient chocolate sauce. This chocolate sauce is super easy to make. It's absolutely delicious. And it's really good on like, if you're making, um, banana ice cream, cherry ice cream, any kind of ice cream is delicious on top of that. It's delicious to dip your strawberries in there, your pineapple in there, your bananas in there, your fresh fruits. Um, and I'm sure you guys are gonna find a million and one ways to enjoy this delicious treat. So we're gonna start out with cacao powder. Um, you can also make this with carob powder. It has no caffeine, but I'm making it today with the cacao powder. Super easy. You're going to take about a quarter cup of the chocolate. We're going to put it in our bowl. And then we're going to get some date syrup. Now this date is an organic date syrup and I buy this from Trader Joe's. It just makes it nice and um, convenient. If you do not have a Trader Joe's near you, I will post a link for Date Lady and you can get it on my Amazon page. So either one. So it's gonna be equal amounts. So it's gonna be a quarter cup of the cacao powder and a quarter cup of the date syrup. Pour that in here. And then you're gonna to wanna to start mixing this. But first get all the date syrup out of here because it has a tendency to stick to it a little bit. Close the lid because we don't want this knocking over because if this knocks over, it is going to be a bloody mess. And yeah, it's not gonna be pretty in this kitchen, I'll tell you that. So make sure you close everything. Now, you're gonna wanna start gently mixing everything together. And at first, it's going to be like, you know, you're going to be like, well, wait a minute, this isn't mixing, it's clumping up. But it will. You just have to be patient. And then now we're going to add two tablespoons of water to this. So get your measuring spoon. So we have one. And then two. And that's all the water that it really requires. And then now gently, without spilling it, guys, we're going to mix this until you get that chocolatey, creamy sauce that it's going to come to be. Okay, guys, our chocolate sauce is ready, and I've made this beautiful dish, and we're going to have strawberries and pineapple and the chocolate sauce. Let me show you the chocolate sauce. Look how thick that is. Now, I did add three tablespoons of water to this, and if you wanted to, you could add a little bit more, but it's completely, completely up to you. Now, different little variations to this, you could add a little bit of orange zest, and it'll give it a whole different flavor. You could add a little bit of mint, and that'll give it another flavor. So add a little bit of lemon zest. Again, different flavors. So play around with it. It's a great little sauce. Ooh, and I can't wait to try it, but I think I'm going to try it because, yeah, I can't wait. So this little thing, let's get some in here. Look at that, guys. Look how thick and creamy that is. Mm. It really is so good. It was like having... A hot fudge sundae, but it's not really hot fudge, it's cold fudge, I guess you could call it. But anyway, 
I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And remember, guys, it's one bite at a time, one meal at a time. And it's been a pleasure uh, creating this dish. And I hope you guys like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Thank you.